We are climbing up North America's largest ski mountain to see if we can, well, survive the trip down. Oh, and we're gonna be doing that on ski bikes. And, and, double and, the person I'm gonna be doing that with has never ski biked before in their entire life. So I've traveled to Revelstoke, British Columbia, Canada with our filmer Hunter and our good friend James to see just how fast somebody who has never ski biked before can go from total day one noob to double black gnar with serious consequences. There he is. Well, we got Jamesy here, who is a snowboarder usually, but he's found himself in Revelstoke without his snowboard. First time for everything. It's gonna be a big day, bro. <laughs> right, let's get over to the uh, gondola. Should we not cut you some of the bunny hill but No, dude, it's fine. Super short gondola, it's basically a bunny hill from the top. It'll be fine. And because it's such a short trip, James only has seven hours of total learning time before we need to start hiking up to the top. Okay, enough. Just get on the lift. Yep, this mountain is so big that after the first gondola, you immediately get on an even longer gondola that takes you high above the clouds. And after that, you get on a chairlift that takes you up another thousand feet. Then, if you want to go to the top top like we do, you start hiking into some pretty serious terrain, giving you over 5,620 feet of vertical elevation to get down. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here because James is back on step one trying ski biking for the first time ever. I'm gonna need that helmet today, I think. <laughs> and yes, I did say ski bikes. What was once kind of a niche sport has taken off across the globe, and there are now companies like Tangent Ski Bikes that have met that demand with really highly engineered bikes like the ones you're looking at right here. From the geometry to suspension kinematics, everything has been purpose-built for shredding giant mountains like this, whether that's berms, jumps, drops, they can handle it all. So whether you want to try ski biking or whether you've been doing it for a long time, make sure you go and check out tangentskibikes.com. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's get James on one of these things. And the seven hour countdown begins now. So the number one thing to work on right in this moment is going forward until you have a little speed yep. and cranking sideways, not to turn, but to hockey stop. Um, this is the thing that will I'm, keep you alive. I'm English, so that doesn't really make sense to me, but. Uh, <laughs> you know when you're on your horse, playing like <laughs> horse polo or whatever, and you do a hockey stop with your horse, do that. Oh man, I wasn't scared, but now I'm terrified. <laughs> it's honestly, as soon as we get past this section, we'll be okay. All right. And sideways. Like that. Oh God, I hope he doesn't die. Hard, hard, hard! I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Helmets are good. Okay, so not off to the best start, especially considering our goal is to attempt double black craziness a thousand feet above us, with only a handful of hours left for him to practice. So I knew that I had to start playing to James's learning style, which in this case means giving him a couple of essential tips and leaving him to his own devices, with a little motivation thrown in, of course. Man, I want to do that. Okay. Oh, there you go. There's the control. I mean, I can only turn left right now, but whatever. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Yes, we did it! Okay, this seems to be working. But that doesn't mean it's going to be all smooth sailing. Man, it's crazy how fast you can just, like, pick it up. I mean, I say that. Give me a few minutes. Oh, oops. oh God. Now, I don't know if he broke something in his brain with those crashes, but all of a sudden, everything clicked for James. And as we made our way back underneath the clouds, James went from being a cautious noob to a confident intermediate rider, which I know seems crazy for someone who has never done this before today, but I also experienced the same thing the first day I started ski biking. Learning to ski bike is just a lot more intuitive than learning to ski or snowboard. And I could say that from experience. Maybe that's because it's just like riding a, you get it. Are you, Are you scared of the cliff? No, 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 I'm not scared of the cliff. No, no, I, I just don't want to scare the cliff. <laughs> so 
while we were getting lower on the mountain and even lower on time, it also started raining, which cut our time even shorter. Here's hoping we're both ready for the top of the mountain tomorrow because it's time to go back to base camp. And now, time to start climbing. After taking all the lifts up, we didn't really know where we were going, honestly, but fortunately the notice board had plenty of clear instructions. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna have to go on my back immediately. And it begins. This is straight up. It's an elevator. Oh my God. And I can tell you, the climb was steep right from the beginning. Then it mellowed out a bit, which put us all in good spirits. So sick. Oh, right until the climb became oh. steeper than ever. Oh, it's too steep to put on your back. That seems to work pretty well. And then it got even steeper. But we just kept churning away and eventually we made it to the top. Oh, you're here. Everybody wanna be a YouTuber. <laughs> and nobody wanna do the way do the work, baby. Whew. How about that? We were just happy that we made it up there. Then all of a sudden the reality of where we just climbed up to began to sink in. This place is no joke. You're nervous. So nervous. Oh yeah? It's the kind of nerves that you feel when there's no backing out of it. <laughs> You're there. There's no other way to get down. Yeah, we're not walking out of here. Nope. And after yeah, standing around pointing at things for a while longer, it was time to go. Like right next to the cliff? Right next to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Whoa! <laughs> that was a serious cliff right there. That's a serious cliff, mate. Okay. No more sketchy traversing. It's time we go straight down. Yeah, James. Oh, buddy. Yee-hoo! This is what these keys are for. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh no! It's not as soft as I thought it was gonna be. Wow, the terrain just changes so quickly. Holy moly. And it's so hard to show just how steep this all is. Woo! <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice. Oh! Now I know we're yeah. not going to be getting an invite to the Free Ride World Tour anytime soon, but we were so pumped to just be out there tackling this kind of terrain. Woo! Yeah, bud. Oh man, this is crazy. What a magic place. Near the bottom section of the zone, we spotted kind of our only way out, which was a steep, sketchy line with rocks sticking out and hiding just underneath the snow. Entrance. And we were both Rumpage pretty style. nervous. That's gnarly. That is pretty gnarly. And that's from two people who ride down double black bike trails pretty regularly. Yeah. Something like that. Something. Oh. <laughs> Dropping! And yet, it looked like a parking lot on camera, so just n never mind. Yes, mate. Boom. Woo! Unreal, mate. That's it, boys. We made it out. Woo! Yes! Woo Unreal. Not a bad day. I literally can't believe it. It was like <laughs> gingerly, gingerly dancing my way through in the beginning, just falling over every two minutes. And then at the end, we hit what? Double blacks, through the trees. And yeah, it's a pretty intuitive thing. I did not expect that. 
That was wild. Speaking of which, a massive thank you has to go out to Tangent Ski Bikes for providing the bikes and sponsoring the video. You can go to tangentskibikes.com to go check out one for yourself. And there's a sweet promo code in the description too, so check that out. And a huge shout out to Basecamp Resorts for sorting us out with an absolutely epic stay while we were here. Yeah, unreal. And a final thank you to you, the viewer, for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like the video and you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe, because we usually do a couple of these a year, but now it's back to mountain biking. See you on the next one. When do you actually need to pedal it? You don't. You don't, that's the beauty. That's wild. It's a lower oh, Good visibility. Like this is top of river chair looking. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Little gnome over there. You're a cutie, aren't you? Shame about the skis, but.